Well, Nathan, you've made the um, decision to step away from football. Must have been a tough one. Yeah, it's been very tough. Uh, I've thought about it for a while. Um, got some advice and some help from family and friends on what they thought I should do, but in the end it was my decision and I'm very happy with it. It is very disappointing that we've, we've lost someone of Nathan Cracker's calibre. A uh, great player, uh, played some great footy in 2011, but unfortunately, through a considered and, and thought out process, Nathan's decided to um, leave the game of AFL. Uh, from the club's point of view, we would have loved to have seen him stick around because he is a valuable asset and player of our football club. Also a huge loss to the game of AFL. Uh, we know he can play football, has shown that in the number of years he played at Port and also with us this year, so very disappointing. But going forward, we know for Nathan at this point in time, the number one priority is to get look after his wellbeing. Um, over the last two to three months, we've spent uh, considerable time and resources in trying to help Nathan um, get back into AFL footy with the training and the demands of AFL football. Um, but we've got to a point now where he's made a final decision and it's made by himself and he's now moving on to uh, get, back, get on with the rest of his life. Uh, yeah, from the teammate, the clubs, uh, especially Jared Arbrow, uh, Daniel Harris when I first moved over helped me settle in a bit. Um, yeah, the club's been great and family and friends and the AFLPA as well. Um, it wasn't something I took lightly. Um, I'm glad I made the decision. I'm happy with myself. I uh, feel relieved, a lot less stressed. Um, just want to get back home and relax for a bit and just uh, see what I want to do after that. Yeah, I was nervous. My heart was pumping and um, I can't even remember what I was saying, but I'm glad I got it out of the way and uh, yeah, I wish him all the best. The process going forward will be ongoing. We've committed to Nathan for that. Um, over the last two or three months when Nathan indicated he was struggling and wanted to get back to his family environment, we've been helping with um, a lot of our professional off-field people uh, through the AFLPA, through his manager and through the football club. So I think we've exhausted most of those options. Um, Nathan's been appreciative of all the help he's received um, and he's still come to the decision to, to move back to his home environment to help him with his, his wellbeing going forward.